we're talking about football, so there's been a lot of different type of emotions over the last year. A lot of positive emotion, I have to say. I'm really enjoying uh, owning, but really like managing this uh, this club. I think uh, from when we started in January and until now, it's been good progress, both on the pitch, off the pitch. I think what what's most important is that we've been able to build uh, a certain culture, a certain level of uh, expectation, which of course puts a lot of pressure on everybody who's involved, but also it's good to feel that pressure because, you know, this is where, why we're here, you know, to, to do the best for the club and to achieve some, some good things. So we are, we finished third. I think from what I understand, this haven't happened for over 20 years. So I think it's clearly to say that the biggest uh, progress that we had was, uh, was on the pitch and the club. And I have to thank the, the, the football team and the football staff for this, because I think it's their passion, it's their uh, devotion to the project, it's their belief, you know, that help us to get there. It's good, I think, that we, have, we are working well together, we are improving our team. Every, every transfer window, every day that guys practice on the pitch, so yes, I think we've done quite well in, uh, on the pitch, but also I think we've, uh, we've moved and progressed well in, uh, as a whole organization, where I think the fans and the club and uh, the people around the city, they feel some togetherness, which I think is the most important to, to have in a cool football club. Well, I think to be honest, what we aim is to, is to build an uh, organization, an atmosphere that uh, fights to win every game. Of course, in football it's not possible to win every game, but in terms of uh, where we are, we set this type of uh, expectation that we want to win every game. And of course, uh, the more wins you have, the more clearly chances you have of reaching the, the European uh, uh, position. I think we've set goals to be top six uh, at the beginning of the season as a minimum bar which we've achieved now and of course you know we feel that uh, it's uh, it's our season to lose not to get into Europe because we're in good position we play three home games we are very good at home so expectations I think from everyone right now is for us to fight in uh, and get the European place of course we need our supporters the most to achieve this and as I suppose as I said before I think only the, to the together togetherness can, uh, can get us to, to European position, you know. So expectation is there now, which is most important, and uh, we have to do it this season. Well, to be honest, as you know, of the last year, we were a little bit on the outside of this process. The process was between the contractor and the city. Uh, right now, we, we understand that the, from the contract that the, there is in place that the expect expected time of of, of, of the Finnish construction is uh, beginning of uh, next calendar year. So uh, hopefully we will be able to play uh, league games in the stadium uh, starting uh, the second part of next season. I understand how important it is for the fans. I have to say that it's also very important for the club because uh, the stadium will be a kind of a mecca for, for, for the club, you know, and for the fans. So this is uh, what we, we can use the stadium to really develop the club further, you know, and to, to, to bring it to the next level. So hopefully, as I said, and right now, to be honest, we are in very close dialogue both with, the, with, with PIMP, with the city. We are part of this process now because we want to make sure that the stadium, when it's delivered to us, uh, is in the best condition for, for us to make it as comfortable as possible for the fans. But first, of course, we need to make sure that we can host games there and then we will see how to, how to get it completed, you know, in, the, in, in full. Well, as I said, you know, we've done a lot on the, on, the, on the pitch, you know, to move the club forward. What we'd like to, of course, do is to build organization as a whole that, uh, that can uh, bring this club to, to, to the next level and to make sure that, you know, we were utilizing the maximum our fan base and everything. So, of course, we're bringing new people to, to, the, to the team. German, who came, he's uh, 
a very experienced guy, has been working in uh, big companies, has been working in, 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 in big football clubs, so I think definitely and on a personal level I really believe that he is the right person for, for, for Botev, you know, to, to, to manage it. So expectation is that, you know, he's he'll be able to to build Botev to to the to the to the point where, where we see it's it's uh, our goals are. The academy is the center of any football club and from uh, Day one, we've had intent to, and I personally had intent to really build uh, the core of the football club, being the, the, the youth system, the, the B team, which we have from this season. So what we, we really lacked, as I believe, is a uh, methodologist who can help us and uh, achieve uh, what as he set out us to do, which is basically to bring teams from uh, players from our academy to the first team, this is the goal. You know, when the the first team and the the football that Valley plays is a very uh, demanding football, so we need to make sure that uh, physically and uh, tactically our players are capable of that. So I think uh, I think this is the goal. You know, to be able to just improve in every manner, and both guys are here to do that. As the season and as my time in the club, club uh, progresses, I definitely see that the support is, is, is increasing, which is very important. Obviously, like in any relationship, you know, when I just got to the club, it was a level of excitement from one side. But of course, nobody really, uh, well, it takes time to, to show, you know, that it's not just words. And I think that right now there is more trust from the fans. There's probably even more respect from the fans, not just person to me, but to what we are doing, you know, as a team. And uh, and yes, of course, I feel that, and it's good, you know. It's uh, it motivates me to to work even harder, you know, in terms of our goals. And I think it motivates everybody in the club to to do better. So definitely, I I I feel that support. I think that you know this playoff is the time when we really need that support and I hope that every game will have maximum support that there is and the fans will, uh, will, will, will help the team. Well, I think we had a deal uh, with Wool Sport until the summer, this summer, so of course it was only natural that we're looking to, to see what we do next. Our commercial team did a good job of evaluating who is uh, the best partner for us and at the end I think that we've, uh, we've chosen the right partner. Uh, and, and, and we hoped for a good working relationship with them. The first most important thing is obviously to develop the, the kit for next season. I think that we're in a, in a good position there and I really think that our fans will, will like what they see for the next season. I mean, I'm quite involved, to be honest. As you see, I come to the games quite often. I'm not here for every game, but I'd say I'll come quite regular, so it's not so easy. Uh, it's not so difficult, I mean, to, 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 to see what's, what's happening in control. I have full trust in the football department, so I don't really have time. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in continuous uh, communication with them, so that's, that, that's something that I have enough experience in football to, to be able to, to achieve that. Now we have a CEO in the club who is basically a guy who I can trust as well, totally. So we have regular communication, but I think right now What's good for me is to feel that there are the right people in the right jobs in the club that are uh, doing a good, you know, that will do a good job. So it's been quite easy, but again, I'm here quite regularly, so it's not a big deal for me to, to keep, you know. Like I said, it's important for us to have uh, local players in the team. I know that fans always want to see more, but here we just have to make sure that our uh, academy and the B team are capable of developing uh, uh, homegrown players. I know a lot of young players in the club. We know that there are some that we have good expectations of, but at the end of the day, it's up to the players themselves to, to, to deliver on the pitch and to have that capacity and to have that uh, devotion to football. I mean, I know Ali for, for, for a long time now, you know, we've, we've been working together for uh, four years now. I have grown great respect for him, 
both as a coach as a uh, as a human. To be honest, outside of football, we have a very good relationship, as say. As well, I think well, I can call him my friend easily, and him as well. So yes, his contract ran out, but in th I think in, in terms of our relationship, it's not about documents. It's more about you know just personal desire you know of him to continue. He's away from his family here, but I know that he really likes it. He's enjoying what he's doing here. He has goals, you know, that he wants to, to achieve. I think he, he, may, he said it many times that he wants to win something with Botif. And I think we're only in the beginning, you know, we're, we're, it's what, 15 months since he started here. So I think that I have total confidence in his abilities. And, you know, we, we, for us, documents are not important. We just go day by day and uh, I think you know, we've set out a goal for this season, we said we'll set out a goal for next season and then, you know, the documents will take care of it. I think when I came, you know, I said that what I really want Botev to, to be is a respected uh, European club. I would say a, a kind of a Eastern European powerhouse in football. You know, to do that we have to play in Europe every year, to do well in Europe. I mean, of course, uh, the goal needs to be to play in group stage of European competition like Lula Goris do, like CSK do and this is the goal, first goal for us and uh, in the long term of course it's a club that you know I would like as every Plovdiv citizen to be proud of both for what's happening on the pitch but also as, as an institution and this is basically a goal for us in the, in the mid term you know in the long term you know, I don't really like to look in the long term, you know, it's, it's, it's the next steps that we need to achieve and some goals, clear goals that we need, to, we, need to, we need to achieve as well, you know. So I think that we have everything to achieve those goals, it's just going to take time, hopefully less time than, than, than long, but in football you never know, you know, there's so many factors that play into that, but the key and clear goal for us is to play in Europe every year.